Okay, hey, this is Alex Goff from Goff Rugby Report. I'm with Jack Escaro, who is a prop forward from Gonzaga High School, and we're talking about the High School All-Americans camp, the winter camp, and Jack, um, how's the camp been so far for you? Camp's been great. Uh, new facilities, obviously, and uh, they've been awesome. They've really uh, ramped it up, and um, overall, it's great new talent coming in and uh, great coaching all around, so it's been great so far. Well, talk about this facility, because this is the, uh, it's in Casa Grande, uh, Arizona. It's the Grande Sports Academy, Grande Sports facility it's this massive thing fields everywhere you're in one of the classrooms they've got classrooms everywhere um what is it like for you or for some of the players and i know you're at gonzaga high school kind of nice facilities there but some players they're on a club team where they just show up at a park and practice so what's it like for the guys well you know having the locker room atmosphere it really adds to the overall you know team feel and then the you know hot tubs to well not hot tubs cold tubs to you know recovering after practice are great and you know the the fields all around are awesome um the classrooms really help and you know the easy walk from the hotel to the to the fields and everything really you know just makes everything uh really easy and it's uh it's awesome how's the experience been for you personally what are some of the things you want to work on or show the coaches that you've improved up upon yeah, this is uh, this is my third camp um, from high, in my high school years, and uh, just kind of working a lot on scrum technique after uh, after the tour over the summer. There was a lot of stuff I felt I could improve on, so uh, just trying to master a couple new aspects of the scrum was uh, was big for me, and I think I think I've hopefully done that. Well, good. You you got a a, a great uh, experience as a scrummager playing against Argentina, Uruguay, and Italy. They all scrum mm -hmm. very well. Um, and, and did you feel like you came out of that saying, boy, I've got a lot of work to do, or did you feel like you could you could hang with them, you could hang with that level and, and improve on it from there? Well, I think physically it was we were up to par. However, I mean, technique-wise, there was a lot to work on, and uh, a, lot we, a lot I really wasn't even sure what to do for. So having help from some of the coaches like uh, Sean Pittman, the – Former Eagle and, and uh, other uh, along with a ton of other coaches, it's just been great to, you know, kind of figure out what how we can counter against some of these tactical uh, scrummagers from, you know, Argentina and Italy and Uruguay. Has that been a a, a main part of the work you're doing at this winter camp? Uh, with the forwards, yeah. I mean, primarily Type Five have been working on uh, on scrums. I mean, it's been a big point. You know, a lot of restarts off of scrums and uh, defense off of scrums and lineouts. So it's definitely been a key point. Um, so yeah. Okay. Uh, this camp is right after Christmas, December 26th to December 31st. Um, does that does that make Christmas kind of a, a nerve-wracking time for you, especially since you've got to keep your fitness up, you've got your fitness reports to put in, things like that? Yeah, it's it's always uh, kind of in the back of your head as you're you know eating Christmas dinner. You're thinking about that jingle jangles you got to run a couple days, but uh, it's it's a it's it's good and it's it's good and a bad because I mean you get you get to you get a clear head. You're not worrying about school really. You're on break and um, it's uh, it's right after the holidays, obviously. But uh, it's it I think I think it works out well for everyone's schedules. How how were you on your fitness reports? Were you uh, on time and uh, accurate? I was, I was on time. I was I was accurate because I did uh, I did better here than I did on any of my. <laughs> so I think that was the, the goal. Everybody wants to share good news, so that's, of course, that's yeah. the key thing. Uh, on on your teammates, uh, or, or or you for you as well. Who who are the leaders that are percolating through? Who are kind of the goofballs percolating through? Or are you still learning that? Um, obviously, you know, returners are always, uh, you know, kind of the automatic, you know, leaders of sorts, but um, you have a couple veterans that have been on a lot of tours, like Aaron Matthews, obviously, Stephen Branham, um, Khaleesi, uh, Khaleesi Moley, um, Liam Jimmins, a young kid, he's been on a couple tours, uh, Lecky, Foto, a uh, lot of, lot of uh, solid talent. Uh, goofballs, I... I don't know. We got the uh, you got the honey bears. These two props from, uh, from <laughs> Southern California, um, Chris and Dallas. They're both uh, everyone. Everyone likes to goof around with them. All right, sounds good. All right, well, I appreciate it, Jack. Uh, thank you very much. Best of thank luck you. with the high school All Americans and with Gonzaga this year.
Thank you.